If the problem is excessive penetration or blow through, which is especially common when welding sheet metal, turn down the voltage, adjust the wire speed, or increase your travel speed with the torch. These can usually be identified by a high crown weld bead, lack of discoloration from the heat on the back side of the metal, or simply because the pieces break apart easily. First, make sure the pieces you're welding aren't too thick for the machine. The Eastwood MiG-175 is rated up to one quarter of an inch, so you shouldn't weld anything thicker. Lack of penetration could be caused by too low a voltage, so you can try turning up the voltage. Also, if you're using an extension cord, try the welder without the extension cord. Extension cords can cause a drop in amperage. Also, make sure you have the wire speed set correctly. Incorrect wire speed can result in a lack of penetration. If the material isn't too thick and you have the correct voltage and wire speed settings, make sure you're not traveling too fast. Remember, you want to move the molten puddle. Finally, make sure you properly prep the metal before welding. The metal should be clean of all contaminants, and if the metal's thick, you may want to bevel the edges to improve your penetration.